Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. This is my five beginner tips for Biker Garage Mechanic Simulator. I'm still not sure why they didn't just call it Biker Mechanic Simulator, but here we go. So these are my five tips I would give to any beginner, and the reason why is because these are the more complicated sections of the game. I mean, when I say that, I mean they're fairly simple, but f you know they're different than what I'm used to at the same time. So we're going to get into this right now. Okay, so know your tools. This is an air compressor. You need this for basically doing air jobs on your bikes. Not necessarily just for tyres, but you need it for doing line work later on when you're doing dealing with oil and fluids and bits and pieces. Now, it's all normally just used for servicing the tyres on all bikes. Now, when you're putting a new set of tyres on a bike, or you've had to take these off, or these are orders coming through from the website, you have to pump up the tyres. If you don't, then the bike won't be ready for order and then you're just not going to get it out. So, best thing to do, just service every single part you can think of. Normally the reservoir, the engine, the brakes, and the tyres. So make sure you pump the tyres up to the correct tyre pressure. Tip number two, know your fluids. From left to right you've got brake fluid, engine oil, coolant, and chain oil. Each one of these is used for a different section of servicing, obviously because you're not going to use the same fluids on all of your bits and pieces on a bike. So what we're going to do now is don't forget to service the engine. Now when you're doing a bike from the website and it comes into you, you have to make sure that all the levels are full up. With the engine, it's definitely the oil. So you have to have two litres mainly in every single engine you're going to be working on, and that's all good. Basically, make sure they're all filled. Sort of tip 2.5. Don't forget to put things away. And the reason why I say this is because if you're working on bench number one, which is where I normally work on all the bikes, you're very limited for space. So you can't put anything down if you, that area is already filled up. So just don't forget to you know put things away. Tip number three, oil for your chains, which is the big black bottle that you see on the side. When you do a bike from scratch or when you do a bike from the website, you have to oil the chain. Now, I've done this a couple of times where I've basically looked at it and just gone, well, it's finished. I've sent it off to the website and then it's basically it's incomplete. You look at it and you go, ah, oh, and it's literally the one thing that you've forgotten is to basically oil the chain. Just make sure it's part of your like list before you finish up a bike and send it off to a customer. The chain does need oiling. Tip number four. Well, yep, we are at tip number four. Brake fluids. Now, brake fluids are a bit more of a pain in the ass in this game, and the reason why I'm going to say that is because they're a little bit more fiddly. First off, you need the air compressor and the brake fluid. Secondly, you need to click in the reservoir that can be found in the handlebar on every single bike. Now, you have to fill up the reservoir, and then you have to bleed the fluid into each brake component on the bike. This basically means that you fill the reservoir up, click on a caliper or the brake pedal, go down to it and then fill up the caliper or the brake pedal from the reservoir. When you have depleted the reservoir's uh, like fluid, then you have to go and fill the reservoir back up before you do the next section of the bike. This can be slightly tedious and a little bit annoying, but hey, it's one of those things. What you're seeing on the screen is what happens if you if you pull too much. It will basically just empty the reservoir. That means you have to fill it back up and it's just annoying. It doesn't have a stop and this is what I'm finding a little bit annoying. I've done this a couple of times where I've filled it up and then clicked too much. And then all of a sudden I've started draining out and there's no way to fill it back up out of it. You literally have to empty the whole thing before you fill it back up. So when you get to 134 mil. Just sort of take it a little bit slower, get to 135 and then it's spot on. Then you just fill the reservoir back up and carry on with your work on the other calipers or the brake pedal itself. Tip number five. Tip number five is literally a way of just making a couple of extra quick bucks on the side. Don't forget when you finish a job you're going to have all these parts left in your inventory. The best thing you do, repair up as much as you can and then flog them off. If you do have parts left in the inventory and you can't do anything with them, they have to go in the bin. There's no way to recycle them out or send them off. What you're selling is literally the bare minimum of what you were able to repair. It's a good way of making a tiny little bit of extra money, a little bit like Car Mechanic Simulator where you just sell off all the stuff at the end, the end of a job and just know that you made a tiny bit of a profit but just by getting rid of the older stuff. So recycling what we're supposed to be doing in the world. So, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other updates on this channel, and I'll be back here with another video, live stream, or whatever else I do over here. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click on one of the other videos that's popping up on the screen now. I'll catch you in another one. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye.